In this next video, we're going to be taking a look at the layout uh, that you would oftentimes see of the warehouse uh, at a production facility that also has a quality control department. Okay, so what you're going to see in this case, for many organizations, they'll kind of have a horseshoe of sorts, starting off with the receiving area and making its way around the course and making its way back to the shipping area. So let's go ahead and break this down a little bit. So at this proposed warehouse, um, we have three different receiving bays that are utilized for checking in raw materials into the warehouse. So the goods are going to be brought off the truck, uh, checked in to the computer systems. Then at that point in time, the goods are going to be moved over to a quarantine area and the goods will reside in this quarantine area up until the point in time that the quality control department um, provides authorization for those goods to be placed into stock okay so at that point that the authorization is obtained the goods in part are going to be moved from the quarantine area over to the uh, raw material storage area. So in this particular model, we have four different racks that store the organization's raw materials. Okay, so the raw materials will reside in that rack up until the point in time that the organ, the production department releases a work order that you know that has need for those particular raw materials. At that point in time, uh, work order documentation will be generated and a work order pick list will be provided to the warehouse personnel. And at that juncture, the goods will be moved uh, from the uh, raw material storage locations here to what we call a production staging area in which the raw materials will be prepped uh, for that day's production. Okay, so after the raw materials are prepped, and the manufacturing team is ready to commence the manufacturing process, the raw materials at that point in time will be transferred from here over into the production area. Um, at that point in time, the goods are going to be considered work in process. So the raw materials will be acted upon uh, by you know, various work centers and various production routines, and the output of the production process is going to be a finished good inventory product. So once the good is completed, the good is going to be finished good is going to be moved from the production area over to another quarantine area. Okay, so in this case, this is a quarantine area for the finished goods that have completed through the manufacturing process. So at this juncture, the quality control department will be notified that the goods have been made. They'll perform the necessary test on those goods. And once the goods are deemed as being good, uh, the warehouse per personnel will go ahead and transfer those goods from quarantined over to a finished good storage area. Okay, so the, good, the finished goods will go ahead and reside in this area up until the point in time that the uh, company places a sales order that requires those goods. At that point, the finished good would be allocated to the sales order or reserved against the sales order, and a picking ticket would be generated from the warehouse management system. So this picking ticket will instruct the warehouse personnel once again to go ahead and move the finished goods from their bin locations over to a picking staging area. Okay, so the goods will go ahead and reside in this area until the people who work at the packing packaging stations are ready to basically put these goods into boxes with all the appropriate labeling and packing slips and bills of lading for transport. The goods will the finished goods will be packaged then they'll uh, in part be transferred over to a shipping staging area, okay? And those goods will stay in the shipping staging area up until the point in time that the truck comes in 
to pick up the goods and transport them from the facility. Okay, so that's kind of an example model that you, is very common uh, within many uh, organizations that do manufacturing. So I hope uh, this uh, video was of use to you. If so, I'd ask you to please to remember to like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me. Thanks.